Hey guys, Susan and welcome to Project 76 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be building a Chuck Narrows random jokes application by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So now here you can see we have this button right here. So if you just click on that, so anytime you click on this button, so it will now give us a random jokes right here. Okay. So this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code. Anyway, so if you want to build that, first of all, you have to create a folder given name of like 076 of Chuck Narrows. Inside this folder, we are going to be creating three files. The first one will be index.html, the second one will be just like style.css, and the third one will be app.js. Come on, app.js. Now, let me just make that a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code. So, the first thing I would do is I'll just write my doc type HTML, change the title to be like Chuck Narrows, and now let's just link it with my CSS file and also with my JavaScript file. I'm going to just comment out this metadata from there and right click on it and open it with the line server. All right, so the first thing I would do for HTML is that I'll just write a section with the class of container. Inside this container, we are going to be uh, creating our div. So inside this div, we are going to be giving an ID of like display joke. Okay, and as a label, I'm going to just give them like click the button to get a new joke. And now let's just give him a class of like btn and also the id will be just get joke okay and as a level we are going to be giving like uh get joke or yeah i'll just give like a joke so now if we just save that and this is how it looks like right now okay so now the next thing which you have to do is that we want to just write our interactivity and after that we are going to be providing our styles so the first thing i would do is i'm going to just get my display display jokes container so i want to just write like document that get element by id of display and joke and now let's just get our button as well so i'm going to just use like document dot get element by id of get joke so now let's just log both of them to the console like display joke duplicate and then we have a button so now if we just save that and open our console so we get our display joke container and also our button all right so now we are good to go Alright, so now the next thing that you have to do is that we have to attach even listener on this button. So which means like whenever we click on this button, we want to call this function, which will be like get random joke. Alright, so now let's just create that function right here, get random joke. Inside this function, we are going to be writing our XML HTTP constructor. I know like we can use like async, await, fetch API and stuff. But in this small project, we are going to be just using our XML HTTP request. So const Ajax will be now equals to new XML HTTP request. Okay, and now let's just write like URL and URL will be this uh, Chuck Narrows application. So here we are going to be getting this URL right here. So if you want to learn more about this Chuck Narrow API, so you can just go to this link, which is like HTTP request. Then we have api.chucknarrow.io. Okay, so if you want to learn more about that, there's nothing to learn. But if you want to like just, I don't know, if you want to visit this site, so you can visit to this site by just uh, this API, like api.chucknarrows.com. Anyway, so now let's just get our link. So I'm going to just copy it and I'm going to paste this link right here in a quotes. And then underneath that, we are going to be using our ajax.open method. And we are going to be providing the get. And also, let's just write our URL, which is this URL right here. And finally, we are going to be writing a true for asynchronicity. All right, so that's that. We are going to be using like Ajax dot on ready start on ready start. Come on, on ready start change. So once the state is change, so you want to just call this function right here. Okay. So let's just check like if Ajax dot status is equals to two hundred and Ajax dot ready state is also equals to four. So then you want to get our data. So let me just write data. And now let's just parse this data by using json.parse. And now let's just write like ajax.response response text. And now let's finally just display this data into our display joke. So now let me just write that like data.value. So if status is equal to 200 and ready state is equal to 4, so then we want to first of all uh, get the data by just using json.parse and we want to render that data to this display jokes um, container right here okay so if that's not true then you want to write or else block and else uh, then you want to write like ajax on error okay so you want to just call this function on 
error okay so now let's just create this function and by the way i forgot to send our ajax so i'm gonna just write ajax start send method right here let's just create our function on error okay so we are going to be just writing like on uh, display jokes dot inner not inner text but text content would be fine and we're going to equals to like um something went wrong and sad face okay so now if you save that and let me just zoom out a bit so that we can just see all of the code it's not much but first of all we are just getting our data then we are attaching this event listener on it so once we click on the button so it will first of all um call this method right here new xml http request and here we are getting and we are providing our url and then we are providing an attribute of like i mean like the parameter value of like true for asynchronicity then we are calling this method which is like on ready state change and we are just checking or like the status if the status is set to like 200 and also the ready state is set to like 4 so then we want to get the data and we want to display that if that's not true so we want to just provide an error which will be like uh, something went wrong so now if you save that and if you go to our browser and if i just click on it so it will not use us a random joke right here okay and if you just click it one more time so it will not use us anytime we click on this button so it will not use us random jokes okay so if you just click it one more time so it will not just gives us a random jokes anyway so we are done with the javascript and html side so now let's just pour a little bit of styling to this side so for styling let's just go to our fonts.google.com and you want to search for a play fair display or play fire display phone whatever you want to call it so let me just search for it it's like um play fair display i guess it's play fair i'm gonna just click on this one i can't pronounce the name sorry and then i'm gonna just change um i'm gonna click on this uh 500 one so let's just get there and click on the import and copy this link and paste it right here and now let's just uh get also this font favorite from there and paste it right here and i'm gonna comment it out all right so the first thing i would do is i'm going to just get my body and provide a height of like 100 vh display will be totally flex because you want everything to be centered so flex direction will be column column and justify corner will be centered and align items will be totally centered so now if we save that everything is perfectly centered and now let's just get our container so now let me just get my container and width will be like add 100 pixel save it and this is how it looks like now let's just get our um joke container which is this one and now let me just pass that right here like display and joke okay so inside there we are going to be passing like a font size of 4m and also let me just copy this font family from there paste it right here uncomment it out so if you save that and this is how it looks like right now so if you click on it so it will give us like one new joke right here and that's that so now finally let's just style this button and we are done so let me just get this button right here and i'm going to provide a padding of like 10 pixel margin top will be just like 40 pixel and border will be none and background will be transparent and border bottom will be just one pixel solid crimson and you can choose whichever kind of color you like and also text color will be set to crimson as well cursor will be pointer so if we save that and this is how our button look like so if you click on it certain so log users a random jokes right here okay so anytime you click it it will give us like a random jokes Anyway, so we are totally done with this project. So I think that was it about today's video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.